What about it? No more argument, okay? We've discussed this ad nauseum. Come on. I don't know. Try being a kid. Technically allowed to use those keys whenever you want. How can you? She has no friends or age, no social skills. She doesn't know how to be. I was staring at the ceiling for three hours. But then you start crying. Hey. But if anybody takes that baby away, I'll smother you in your sleep. One plus one is two. That is fact number one. Excellent, Donna. It is. Two plus two is indeed four. I beg your pardon? Okay. Nobody in this classroom speaks. Harry, can you stand up, please? Stand on up. Stand. 17. Yeah, yes, it is. Yeah, it's, that, that is right. All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. What, 57 multiplied? Seven thousand and six hundred and seven point seven. And change. Twenty-seven strange kids. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Mind if I sit in? Not at all. Okay, class. First graders. Good morning, Mrs. Davis. The boss. Mrs. Davis is our principal. Okay. Wait a minute. That's the dad. I know it. Friday night. Trying to get picked up by him. Look, it's my teacher. Probably wants to remind me what one plus one. Hey Frank, how are you? Sorry about today. I know she got a little overexcited. I think it's just for. I think your daughter, I think Mary, might be giving. No, 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 that's, no please. It's really not gifted. difficult questions. Right. It's just. It's a system to rapidly solve problems. It's, it's attractive. Do I look gifted to you? It's kind of gone out of order. Okay. Nice to meet you, Bonnie. Frank. For the record, I'm still passive aggressively ignoring you. I never can see answer. Interesting. So I googled first graders and yell at the principal. It's the tip. Frank, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Yeah, right. Screwed up. Fred. <laughs> Don't run. I listen to the wink. Only God really knows. Never. But ne but never. Watch the sandpipers. He thinks he'd like to. But I tell you what, she would have wanted you to have friends. Idiot friend. Miss Stevenson. Good morning, morning. is his name Fred, but go ahead and count, but I promise you, it's always a bottle of like alcohol or something. He is a smart, smart. Top of the paper, so that I know who did such good work. Think about how you get to the answer. It's not just about, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought you might finish quickly, so. Today's teacher 
Bonnie. Bonnie. My student, your niece. And she never just showed up on her house. She never showed up with the baby. Got back. I think I figured showing up that late to my date would hurt my chances of getting. I mean, there's no way I could have known. And what about the father? <laughs> and no grandparents? Dad died when I was eight. Why? Very British. Do you mean... So, Mary... She could be expelled. Hope not. Me and I don't bluff you. It just so happens that I am good friends with the headmaster. And has a $30,000 tuition. Mr. Adler, I can get your daughter a scholarship. 99 times out of 100, it's what you do. It's the Oaks. It's great. All needs is reinforcement that she's different. Today's a bad ending. You can't hit people, but a tool. Mr. Adler, your daughter and I, shattered I know, a young boy. You and me, you get congressmen. To raise this child to the level of scholarship she deserves. I won't do it again, so don't be. Sir. Before they. Come on. Yeah. I know. Seven. An apple? Whoa. Ready to display. Bread. Um, Mary. Called transitions in advanced algebra. Yeah. Don't forget your manners. Thank you, Grandma. Thank you, Grandma. Who you'll find really Yes, but sadly, it's a school night and there's homework to do. Kill a priest for a Benadryl. Still with the allergies? Why in God's name? Davis. Never get on the bad side of small minded people who have a little authority. I'm thrilled your seven year exhaustive search has finally come to a fruitful conclusion. Deal my shoe. Yeah, don't take a shoe. I could drop you back off at the airport. This thing is loaded with cold problems. So, are you teaching? I, re I wear sunscreen. Not enough. And you need a hat, a big hat. But we're not here to talk about sunscreen, are we? Oh, so no more small talk? I disagree. We're going nowhere if we're not going to be honest with you. Frank, please listen to reason. At some point, either you could... Diane didn't want you to have her. Diane? How her child is living now. Do you honestly think she'd be pleased? In the right place on this. But you are denying the girl her potential. out to some think tank where she can talk non-trivial zeros with a bunch of old Russian guys. Not Mary in the first place. That's uncalled for. Your sister, she was weak. Weak like her father and weak like... Kind of puts a black cloud over our luncheon. You're still stubborn and... Here's an idea. Stop thinking about it. I suggest you call your attorney. Hey, let's go outside. Just tell me. I would if I could. But I don't know. Based about what you think, feel, not what you know. I have an opinion, but that's my opinion. I could be wrong. Right. Huh. Roberta loves you. She's trying to help. I'll tell you what. Yep. Okay. Okay, Adler, grandmother and uncle. Well, that's a shame. Hey, aren't you? 
I'm very happy to be here, Your Honor. For the child, her daughter, the girl's mother, was a troubled woman who seven years ago, for the purpose of denying my client custody. Now, there is evidence that the child be returned to the state of Massachusetts and given the care to which she is entitled. That he do so. My client has been her constant caregiver. And Your Honor, words, we won't have a child left south of Tallahassee. I would need reasonable access to the child. So ordered. Steven, she'll go. Relax, Frank. I'm going to wait to put on the talent competition. I would not like to have him here tonight. <laughs> I wow. Look, just don't worry. Okay? Just the lady who lives next door, whose opinion means nothing, whose feelings mean nothing. Get out of my way. I'm going to have my say. Change, change, change. Hi. I'm, I feel terrible, but I also wanted you to know that after... I know. What? I'll go with Mona from Who's... That was it. And <laughs> she wasn't secret that about was it. it. That's why I liked her. Favorite student and why. Oh no, I love all my students. I'm gonna go ahead and there drink. Yeah, <laughs> let's let's keep this honest. He okay. Sorry. The point is that he's evil in his core. <clears throat> what? Okay. Look, if it's too much, you can just drink your drink. That'll ruin Mary's life. There's no misconception. No, 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 I didn't. No, hold on. That, that, no, Man. that's great. I'm sorry. That's embarrassing. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Are you? Okay. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Sorry. Okay. I understand. Lady business. Now, you were the last person to watch it. What did you do with it? Oh, oh, my God! Good morning, Miss Stevenson. Good, good, because I had no idea what I was going to say. <laughs> Listen. Do we have a rule about Saturday morning? What? Stop. Enough with the Legos. Are you allowed to use Roberta's key? Can you answer me that? You broke every rule. Damn it. Can I just get five minutes of my own? I got mad at you. I was really mad at me. I'm sorry. Doesn't count if it's not eye to eye. Come on. That's not what I said. Mm. Upon me, because I didn't buy you a piano. Do you mean that? We say things all the time we don't mean, so. Frank? You know, I got a book called Fundamentals of Decision Making. You can borrow. What is it? It's just two days. Relax. So what do you think? Is that you? Where is this? That's Cambridge University. People? My research colleagues. For what? So then you came with him, and I had children. You've got a big day tomorrow. Come on. Up, 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 up. I had a series of nightmares where I realized that everything that happened was just all alcohol. Huh. Dr. Shanklin, this problem is... Are Your mother didn't work on problems. She worked on just one problem. 
These are the Millennium problems. Who's the dude with a beard? That's not a dude. This. This. No picture. She didn't solve it. Probably shared a Nobel, considering what it would have meant for physics. If you really desire it, you can have your... Your name will live forever. Don't be smug, Seymour. So, Mary... And I knew that guy was going to have a beard before we even went in there. It's some random, massive problem. Not much did I suck if you ask me. You forgot the negative sign on the exponent. It went downhill from there. Mary, you knew the problem was incorrect. Why didn't you say anything? Thanks, Susan. Why don't we just call Evelyn and tell her I don't want to do this? Because, like, I took to go home, so no attitude, okay? Okay. My mom. And she has a piano. I've heard that. Hey. Hi, Mary. What this is about. Uncle told you you're not going anywhere. Frank and Fredis Roberta. She lives a couple houses away. Really? What's she like? Roberta's not my age. She's like 40, 50. Okay. I don't watch TV, but I got hooked on C. The UFC is that? Is that Ultimate Fighting? Sound down and we do the grunting and voices. Hmm. It can be pretty annoying, but so smart. Mr. Pollard, are you the natural father? Uh, then you had me take a DNA test. I would offer the test for Mr. Pollard, nominating Mrs. Adler, the maternal grandmother, as Mrs. Adler offered you any monetary reward or employment for- Father, when was the last time you saw Mary? Uh, the baby was gone already. Oh, did you try? Computer at work? Sure. You know what, help me out. It'll narrow it down. It's a newspaper article called Not So Terrible Two. With a photograph. Ah, in your defense, you never recognize of the minor, and his nomination of Mrs. Adler is no less disingenuous. By a natural parent, I'm inclined to side with Mr. Cohen's laptop at this time. Shame to ask. How's Walter? <laughs> Bullshit. Exactly. The man into Price is a cowboy. Walter Price puts on a Brooks Brothers logical reason for this? Midlife crisis, apparently. It wasn't a 25 year old cocktail waitress. But then again. And he's out there right now? Yes, sirree. Riding the range. The fastest asset management in the West. That's really, really funny. Take her to the airport. I have no desire to hurt you. Hotel. Why did you have to tell her that deadbeat was testifying? Because it's the... I would visit her. Well, I could have followed you here. Speak it up. Does any of them want to see you in a fight? All right. 
What are we doing here? How long do we have to stay here? Who's here? <laughs> yeah, who's here? <laughs> I did. There's no pleasure in it. So, and your son's a failure in life, you know, baseball. Fenway Park. You know, I'd like to go there. Ever. I don't recall her ever asking. Just out of curiosity. And you've been married to him for 20. And Diane never went to one game. What sports did she play? As I told you earlier, she wasn't interested in sports. With all that time. She loved mathematics. It was her... Who's Paul Reba? From the neighborhood. Paul was Diane's first love, wasn't he? Love. Mrs. Adler, in January of 19... Because he kidnapped her? Yes. And where did the police find young Mr. Reva and Diane? You see, kidnappers don't usually take their victims skiing. When they returned, you pressed kidnapping charges. You or saw Paul Reva again, did she? Not to my... She lost focus. She lost focus. Nothing. I have the hospital report in my hand. It was nothing. You have no idea the capabilities she possessed. Well, maybe before you make that decision, you stand in my shoes. And it have come from minds rarer than radium. Diane thanked me for my intervention. She realized she'd made a mistake, Mr. Attorney. She would refute your baseless insinuations. No more questions. Mr. Adler, so safe to say, no health insurance? No. About a week before you in university, isn't that right? Yes. Well, assistant professor. Mary is because it was what your sister would have wanted you to do. Is that the moved here? No. No. So you decided to bring health care. Of course. So what do you do when little Mary gets sick? But her formal math education under your care, she's learning at the first. Yes. And Diane, she'd be fine with that? Her own bedroom? No. Does she sleep in a bed that you bought in a second? I'm here because it was good for Mary. No, it was personal. Diane was... You uprooted that little girl and brought her here for one reason only. To do... Be a kid. She wanted her to have a life. Be happy. Do you realize the consequences of boredom for a gifted... A 12-year-old tripped a 7-year-old and she came to his defense. Did she break the board? Adler. A drunk idiot attempted you. You're depriving that girl. You're gambling with her future, and now you're... Client yes, or not? Yes, sir, I do have the question. <clears throat> Let's hear it. S-O-C-K-A-R-T. Tell her. They want to cut a deal. Just listen. Just listen to me. No, Boy, there's no foster way. Family, hey, right? we Drop could it. cherry pick from the cream more than a half an hour from your front door. Now, she would have, she can go back into court no. and decide then where she wants to live. I love this deal. They do. You think we're going to lose? I, I got to go put my judge, Nichols. He's old school, Frank. The... I've been in his courtroom a hundred times. It's a coin toss. That old boy is going. That's all I ask.
you to think that we're compromised. Compromise. On one hand, good challenging. Teach you to say irregardless. You only say Which mistake is worse, designing a water pump that leaks or putting it some fail? Got to be devious or you know, I had to find a real family for. Every day, I'd say today's the day. I'm taking her to unbelievably cool. A little perpy, and she was sad. And not that that's in her best interest. Not that I'm capable of raising a child. Six and a half years later. Finally got her to the Foster Trail. It turns out it was a huge success. Oh, Bonnie, I appreciate everything you've done. Hey, hi, Frank. Hey, boy. All right. Let me talk to you. Oh, sure. hang, hang on. She, she don't want to see you. Predictable. You know, she, she needs time. Inside, then we're going to betray your trust, and we have an even bigger problem. one-eyed cat, but I don't know what his name is. Where? Hey. I told him he couldn't. Some guy. He said it was an allergy issue. Where's Evelyn? Evelyn? She was so helpful hey. with the tutors. Hey. Harry was hey. so distant. Look, we know what you're doing here. Come on, Mary. Let's move. Come on. No. Hey, hey. Mary. 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 Hey. Mary. doing something right. <laughs> Out. Walked into her apartment and she was sitting on the floor with that baby in her arms and you know- Babe. Evelyn, stop. 
I'm taking Mary and I'm... And didn't tell me, which is nonsense. It's a millennium problem. She would have shared... Diane instructed me very clearly. It wasn't her death she was talking about. I tried to talk her out of it. But the possibility of publishing it with you. I was waiting for your call. Back to plan A. I know Diane. Something really good came out of this, Evelyn. Diane didn't always think things through. No, um, no. no. I'm really sorry. I, I, I can't hear you. Okay. Evelyn Adler. Four mod five. The answer is a multiple of five. We went to four mod five. So he proved that p of five n plus four. Blending in. How was school? Mm. What is this book? Discourse on method. Think, therefore, I am? Well, of course you are. Cogito ergo Fred? He's a dude. Run, 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 stop. I mean, come to a stop already. Through these streets. 